felt bad for him, but the next man up, who you guys come back? I really just go to work, you know, uh, use this motivation, uh, use it to, to see what we can really get better at when you play a team like that. Some some small things you, you might not see all the time, they'll kind of come out and you realize they really need to find out what we really need to attack. Tackett, are you looking forward to playing USC next week? I know you went there last season. Are you looking forward to going back? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. I think it's going to be a big, a big game, our, our, our first Big Ten game. So, yeah, man, I can't wait. Running against someone like Jalen Miller, I know you guys prepared this week, but just what did he do, like, not just the way, but maybe weren't particularly in the run game, just how hard was he to defend, you know, rushing attack? Oh, yeah, he, he's a great player, and uh, we knew that going into this game, we were going to have to come out and stop him and just have a great all around performance. We were going to be able to win this game, so yeah, he's definitely a good player. How tough was that? Did you play sequence at the end of the first half? Did that feel kind of different? Oh uh, yeah, that, that, it wasn't it wasn't good, man. Right? That kind of kind of it's not really the way you want to go into halftime. You know, you kind of lose for a middle like that, and then yeah, that, that wasn't good. Where did you feel like you got on the field? What point did you feel like? Uh, I mean, I I've never tried to have that mindset that I don't ever have a shot. I mean, I just. I just go out there and play and go all out. Whenever, whenever I'm on the field, I just go all out and play till the, the game's over with. That's the kind of my mindset. What's the biggest positive that you're going to take away from this game, if, if any? The biggest what? Positive that you're uh, going to take from this game? Yeah, uh, yeah, a game like this kind of sucks. So it's, it's not a lot of positive, but uh, yeah, we're going to... Go back to work, you know, go back to work. That's all we can do. If we were to win, we're gonna we're gonna go to work too. So I mean it's gonna be the same thing, but I think it'll be a little bit easier now to kind of find some things that may have been exposed in the game that we can we can work on and get better at. Obviously so. you don't want to talk about regret or anything, but is there anything looking back at the week like like maybe you guys should have focused a little bit more on this in practice or like or do you or were you confident in the game plan going forward? I, I was extremely confident in the game in the game plan and, and our coaches I'm always I trust them with everything they do, so I, I got a lot of respect and trust for them. So. Sorry if you got asked this already, but uh, did you see from Jalen today? What made him? Uh, like I said earlier, he's he's a great player. I mean, we knew that going into the game that he was he was going to be a really really good player for them and, and has a lot of production. So we knew that, that was like a big piece that we had to work on this week. Did you feel like that possession to end the half really changed? I don't know if I would say it kind of changed the game overall. It definitely kind of was not very good for the momentum. But, uh, yeah, we, we definitely should play that a little bit better. Uh, lastly, just how does the team, you know, move forward from here? I know Pickles said it's more about hearts and minds at this point. Yeah, uh, there's one thing I can say that since I've gotten here, uh, is definitely this team has a really, really strong foundation. Uh, it's really, really like intervene, everybody's really connected. We have, everybody in this team has a good connection, so I don't think it'll be any problem for us to, to come back this week and go to work and work our tails off and then put ourselves in a good position for the next game. Thanks for time. Yeah, thank you. Have a goal for the bye week? Go for the bye week, man, just attack it. Kind of just go back and look at this film and see what I messed up on. and. Like those things, whatever whatever my weaknesses are, I'm gonna try to turn those into my strengths so I can really just get better and hopefully everybody else will do the same thing. You know, it's obviously hard coming off of a tough loss, but after three games, you guys are two and one. There were two strong wins before this. You know, like when you're taking some time to reflect on these first three games, like what's the biggest positive and negative takeaway you got from these first games? Uh -huh. Biggest positive? The biggest positive is I'd probably say um, I think we're in a good position. We're, I mean, we have everything ahead of us. Um, so we just got to keep keep working and keep fighting, keep taking the uh, next steps. And I'd say, I mean, the biggest the biggest negative is you never, I mean, you never want to lose a game. So never never want to have a loss on your record. But I mean, it is it is what it is that happens. So we're going to, like I said, I mean, it's a negative, but we know we need to work on it. We'll go look at the film and see what we're working on. Thank you so much.